You're listening to Saturday Morning Media. And now, back to our show. Attraction Checklist is made possible by the Saturday Morning Media Patreon patrons. Patrons get to hear these shows up to a week in advance before they're released, and they get special downloads of just the recorded attraction audio for each episode. Consider becoming a patron today over at patreon.com forward slash Saturday Morning Media. And thank you for your support. Hi, I'm Clinton from ComedyForecast.com, and you're listening to Attraction Checklist. No flash photography, please. My name is Grant Pachoco, and I invite you to join me on my quest to learn about and experience every Disney park attraction I possibly can. This is Attraction Checklist. Welcome to Attraction Checklist. It's time to head to Critter Country in Disneyland to ride the infamous dark ride, The Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh. Disneyland guide maps at the time of this recording don't offer a description for the ride, but the Disneyland website says, Travel through 100 Acre Wood in an oversized beehive and immerse yourself in the stories of Winnie the Pooh. There are no height restrictions for this attraction, and the thrill level describes it as being a slow ride that is dark and loud. Now before we hop in our beehive, here are five fast facts about Disneyland's The Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh. 1. The Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh opened at Disneyland on April 11, 2003. To some controversy, especially to me, it replaced the Country Bear Jamboree that had occupied that land since 1972. 2. Before its opening, there were many different plans for a Winnie the Pooh attraction, including an outdoor boat ride in Fantasyland and a spinning teacups-like attraction that would have been housed in Toontown. These ideas were all shelved, and the Critter Country location was finally chosen. 3. To make it appear that Winnie the Pooh is having an out-of-body dream experience before the Heffalumps and Woozles sequence, Imagineers use what is called the Pepper's Ghost Effect. This is the same technique that is widely used in other Disney attractions, most notably the Haunted Mansion. 4. Like Fantasyland Dark Ride attractions, each of the 22 Beehive Ride vehicles bears a different name. These include Piglet, Rabbit, and Heffalump, among others. And 5. To pay homage to what has come before, three characters from the Country Bear Jamboree can be spotted in The Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh. Three busts of Max, Buff, and Melvin that once hung in the Mile Long Bar restaurant can be seen if you know where to look as you exit the Heffalumps and Woozle sequence. Also, the narrator for the attraction is played by Peter Renaday, who served as the voice of Henry in the Country Bear Jamboree. And now, let's experience the many adventures of Winnie the Pooh. Along for the ride today is Susie, and after the ride audio, we'll give you our thoughts on this attraction. And believe me, I have a few things to say. This is a binaural recording, so if you have headphones, put them on now, as we are about to experience Disneyland's The Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh.
like my present. <laughs> present for two. <laughs> oh, that was fun. Well, Susie, we just rode the many adventures of Winnie the Pooh here at Disneyland Park. And I have feelings about this ride, but let's let you go first. What do you think? Um, it's not fast and scary, I can tell you that, That's but it true. is scary. I haven't been on this in a long time, and it's dark. It, it's dark. Like, yeah. I felt like it's dark and kind of psychedelic, like a little kid. Like, when I was little, I would have been a little spooked out. Yeah. Well, I the reasons I don't like this, obviously, are because... It replaced the Country Bear Jamboree, the greatest attraction ever in the history of Disney parks. So I'm a little upset. Uh, I guess I have to give them credit for including a small nod to the Country Bear Jamboree by That's having... That's what you tried to point to me. Yes, I Max, Buff, and Melvin were hanging above our heads. Uh, in the as, dark. In the dark, yeah. Well, they don't want you to see that it's from a completely different ride. And they're behind you, so you really have to, you have to look up and then look behind you to see them. But... Um, yeah, I, I will. I was trying to think of positives. I like the effect of when Winnie the Pooh kind of floats out of his body when he's dreaming. I think that's a good, a little pepper ghost Dark effect. Dark and scary. I, but I think it's a nice little effect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I wish the, I wish they had real animatronics instead of just kind of those figures. posed figures mm-hmm. that move up and down and stuff. Um, this is not one I come on every single time that I come to the park because I boycott it and I don't like it. <laughs> and I'm upset that the country bears aren't here. Um, and it does a little bit makes me sad of like, oh, the, where we go in is where you used to walk into the playhouse and where you come out is where you used to leave the playhouse. Is this building the same? Well, the main structure behind, but like these two entrance points are the entrance points. They are points. the same because that's like, yeah. I'm like, you're not allowed to have that shake roofing. That must be old. Yeah. It's like a total fire hazard. So anyway, uh, there you go. That's the many adventures of Winnie the Pooh here on Attractions Checklist. <laughs> Do you agree or disagree with our thoughts on the many adventures of Winnie the Pooh at Disneyland? Join the conversation on the Attraction Checklist Facebook page over at facebook.com forward slash attraction checklist. Also, for sources and links for this episode, visit our website at attractionchecklist.com. What attraction should we go on next? Send me an email at hello at saturdaymorningmedia.com, or you can let me know via Twitter where my username is Toasterboy, or you can also post on the aforementioned Attraction Checklist Facebook page. Attraction Checklist is a production of Saturday Morning Media and is made possible by the Saturday Morning Media Patreon patrons who've gone to patreon.com forward slash Saturday Morning Media and set up a monthly donation for as little as a dollar a month. Huge thanks to Shay Stewart, Merle Lafferty, Jeff Peterson, Dale Gadania, Stephen Staver, Jackie Clemo, Melissa Crawford, Dave Slusher of the Evil Genius Chronicles, Mike Coughlin, Dorothy Pachoco, John D, Kathy Crawford, Brian Greer, Carrie Whitney, Chuck Tomasi from the Technorama Podcast, Chris Foster, Stephen Ng, Clinton of ComedyForecast.com, Vicky DeVrice, Mike Wampshall, Twitter user Butts and Gear, aka Wildcat, Eve Cunning, Mike Hamilton, Gaston Morino, Reed Loveland, Ivan Asquith, Vanessa Whitney, Peggy Etra, Kristen Hogan of Squid Friends, David Akers, Zoe Palladino, Ellen Multari, Christopher Harris, Rachel Jackson of Vox Fabuli Puppets, Carolyn Wisner, John Petty, Rachel Hansen, Darcy Prevost, Fernando Torres, Ron McAdams, Perla Q Magic, Jason Domer, Trent Hammond, Cora Goodall, Lee Barrett, Casino Skunk, The Misty Minute, Peter Capesser, Night Gig Studios, Joel Rechtfertig, Adrian Rose Leonard, Earth to John Francis, RJ, Ginger J. Fitz, Megapodtastic, Paul Brunel, and Jamie Hitchcock. If you'd like to support this show and the other fun content from Saturday Morning Media, become a patron. Head on over to p-a-t-r-e-o-n dot com forward slash Saturday Morning Media and set up your monthly donation today. You can also tell a friend about the show or leave the show a review on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, or wherever you get your podcasts. Thank you so much for listening. Attraction Checklist is copyright 2018 Saturday Morning Media, Grant Pachoco Executive Producer, all rights reserved. www.saturdaymorningmedia.com You've been listening to Saturday Morning Media. Stay tuned, we'll be right back.